What if the U.S. and Russia had a nuclear war? If they each used their current nuclear arsenals, they would burn every major city and industrial area in each country. Professor Alan Robach, a climatologist and distinguished professor from the Department of Environmental Sciences at Rutgers University, answered this question. Within a week of the nuclear war, 150 million tons of black smoke would enter the atmosphere. It would rise into the stratosphere, covering Earth and lasting for years. The black smoke absorbs sunlight, preventing it from reaching the surface. Two weeks after the war, as the smoke spreads around the world, it gets dark and cold at the surface. The sunlight that is absorbed by the smoke in the upper atmosphere heats it, destroying the ozone there. This lets dangerous ultraviolet UV radiation to reach the surface. Even though some of the UV will be absorbed by the smoke, much more gets to the surface. UV radiation destroys DNA, the building blocks of life, which will lead to increased cases of cancer. After two months, temperatures over all continental land regions plummet below freezing. And now we have a nuclear winter. Agriculture grinds to a halt and will not be possible for several years. At the two months mark, rainfall halts over all continental land regions and some falls as snow instead. This adds to the problem for agriculture. After four months, famine begins as existing stocks of food run out. Cold, dry, dark conditions prevent agriculture for several years. After two years, most people on Earth have starved to death. A few people on coastlines may survive in a hunter-fisher-gatherer existence but they have to deal with the cold, dark conditions and the enhanced UV radiation. The number of survivors will be very low, and most will be in the southern hemisphere, far from the bombs, and surrounded by a warm ocean that will reduce the cooling. Year four, later temperatures slowly begin to rise, but will not be back to pre-war conditions for another 20 years. Rainfall also slowly begins to rise. Even five years after the war, skin cancer is still on the rise. So is UV damage to plants. It would take around 10 years for nature to begin to take over once again. After 20 years, any survivors will still have to stay away from highly radioactive areas. All this can happen with the currently operational 4,000 nuclear weapons in the U.S. and Russian arsenals. Even the use of 100 nuclear weapons by any of the nine nuclear nations could produce climate change unprecedented in recorded human history and result in famine for billions.